the first phase of shoulder rehabilitation is phase one where it's more of an acute injury or post-surgery. And uh, post-surgery, the first phase usually lasts for the first four weeks. And you wanna do passive or active assisted range of motion. So this is Jessica and her shoulder is the right involved. So we'll be starting out with flexion range of motion and that's where your arm comes right out in front of you. And we call that the sagittal plane. So I'm gonna have Jessica do that with the pulley, which you will get um, for in the first week of rehab. Okay, so what you're gonna do, Jessica, is hold the little handle, but with your thumb pointing up. And then your left arm is gonna help assist your right arm into as much range of motion as you can do comfortably. Now, when you do this, make sure that your shoulder blade stays down. So you wanna keep the distance between your ear and your shoulder so that you're not shrugging at all. That's it, exactly. So that's flexion. The next motion is called abduction, abduction. And so you're gonna face this way with your arm down by your side and you're com coming out away from your body like you're doing an angel in the snow. That's it. And you come up as close to your ear as you can comfortably. And again, you try to keep that distance between your ear and your shoulder so that your shoulder is not shrugging. That's perfect. Good. Now the next motion is typically one of the hardest and your therapist will let you know when it's appropriate to do this. But what you're going to do is you're gonna put your hand behind your back. Uh-huh. And the, the uh, rope goes right behind you like so. Mm -hmm. And then you use your left arm to bring your hand, the back of your hand, up your spine as far as you can comfortably. And typically, uh, when it's, it is appropriate to do this particular range of motion, it does feel uncomfortable. And you wanna try to keep your back straight and your stomach engaged, your stomach muscles engaged. And again, keeping your shoulder blade down. Now let's look at this from the front. So you're bringing your, the back of your hand right up your spine. Perfect. Okay, and this is a back view of the hand behind the back using the uninvolved arm to pull up the involved. Beautiful. Okay, now you can do the same uh, active assisted range of motion behind your back with a towel instead of the pulley. And so what you do is you put this behind your back, use your uninvolved arm, and then grab onto it with your involved arm and use the leverage of the towel to pull your arm up your back. Perfect. Now typically this is one of the toughest range of motion to get back, but very important range of motion because it's very functional, um, but it tends to be very uncomfortable in the beginning. Good. Now there's one more range of motion that we typically give to people because it's a more functional range of motion. And instead of just coming in this cardinal plane of motion, we go in between the two and we call it scaption. So it's in almost a 45 degree angle in a diagonal and it's in the plane of your shoulder blade. Good. And that's a very functional range of motion and more what we use in everyday life. To find that motion of scaption, it's just when you swing your arm, it's a very natural position for where the shoulder wants to swing. So that's a good way to find that position. Perfect. That looks good. And Jessica's doing a very good job in trying and keeping that shoulder blade down. We never want that shoulder to shrug. Beautiful. And sometimes we'll have you do this in front of a mirror if that's available, because then you can watch yourself and make sure that that shoulder is not coming up. Good. Okay.